Welcome back everyone to a brand new Star Wars recap and today we're gonna recap Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 5 so let's get into it. So at the start we see Obi-Wan, Kenobi and Leia and the other two arrive on the planet where they have their base. I forgot the name of the planet. RIP! Anyway so we see just at the start how Lola is the also Leia's roboter is manipulating the whole base so that they can't open the door anymore, which is pretty annoying. And a few moments later, we see Riva getting ranked, the getting the rank of Grand Inquisitor, which was denied to Anakin. <laughs> Anakin, you have been. You, but we won't rank you the Grand Jump Master. Anyway, let's continue. So, after that, we see a shot that the whole Imperium is uh, is going to this planet to try and catch Obi Wan and all of the other rebels, rebels which they aren't. But yeah, let's just call them rebels. Anyway, when this happens, we see a flashback. So Wager is thinking about the time uh, in the Clone Wars or before the Clone Wars when he was still a Padawan and we see a scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker are fighting in the Jedi Temple so having a friendly battle and you see that Anakin is superior in this scene and yes he is going to win and then it ends, the scene ends. Then it continues and Reva and Vader finally arrive on this planet. So Vader sticks in the Star Destroyer and Reva goes down to the planet and tries to take over it. So while they're trying to open the door at the top or the hangar, I don't know. So Reva is going to attack them and trying to destroy the doors. When she finally is there and trying to open it with the lightsaber, Obi Wan is talking to her, and then we finally get to know wh how she knew that Anakin was Darth Vader. So basically, how did she know that? Well, she was in the Jedi Temple, as I thought before. I was almost right, just the scene was wrong, and the person she was is also wrong. But yes, she was there when Anakin tried to kill the younglings, so she killed both of her friends. And he even stabbed her, but somehow she survived. We can't see pretty precise, but yeah, she just kept laying on the floor. And while all the clones and Anakin Sky were walking through the temple, she was just sticking on the floor and just doing nothing. Like she was dead, but she actually wasn't. And that's how she survived this, uh, the Order 66. Then it goes back and she opens with the lightsaber. It's almost, it almost looks like Obi-Wan gets stabbed with the lightsaber, but in the last moment he can get away from the door and doesn't get killed. So the stormtroopers and Reva storm the base and they have to escape. Then the woman, which we got to know in episode 3, the one she, who was an undercover agent, explodes, it takes a grenade and explodes the hangar so that Obi-Wan and so can flee. So in the end, they're able to flee, and then the other guy, I can't remember as well his name, but you know the one from episode 2 who made like he was a Jedi? In the scene before, Obi-Wan gave him the lightsaber, uh, the comling, and so on, and what was the last thing? I can't remember, but this door, ah, and the blaster, exactly. So, he, it's just the dumbest scene. He loses the comling. He loses the comling and it falls on the ground. So they escape all in a ship. And then at this moment, Obi-Wan was first captured to give them time. Then uh, he talked with Riva and they tried to make a plan in the scene before that they were gonna try and kill Vader. So when Vader is looking at Obi-Wan, Riva is gonna kill him. So the Stormtro uh, Riva calls Vader, Vader is coming down and the Stormtroopers bring Obi-Wan back into the base while they are attacking the base or while they stopped attacking. 
And yes, Obi-Wan kills the Stormtroopers and runs as well to the ship and they are ready to fly off when Daver arrives. Daver. Daver. Best name. Like Sith Lord Daver. When Vader arrives and yes, she, he goes into the, into the base and there it happens. He sees the ship in which Obi-Wan is in. But when he tries to capture the ship with the force, we see a second one flying away. So Obi-Wan throws Vader and then we see a flashback in which Obi-Wan disarms Vader without a lightsaber. Uh, Vader, Anakin Skywalker, without a lightsaber. And I think this scene should explain why in episode 4 uh, Vader says, I, now I'm the master. So yeah, Obi-Wan got Vader uh, twice with a similar trick so basically waiter is just too focused on one thing and doesn't think about the rest which makes problems for him anyway so obi-wan flies away and then reva this thing was kind of fun reva tries to attack vader and vader completely humiliates her she's attacking him with the lightsaber and he's just using the force and she can't do anything she's just like trying to stab with the lightsaber vader just with the force is controlling her whole body in the end, Riva gets stabbed in the stomach, and we see the Grand Inquisitor, he's back! I knew you weren't that, I thought it could be your brother, but yes, in the end, he's back. So hello Grand Inquisitor, and on the talk, and yes, so Riva is in the end where they left her, and they go away, and then we see the Comling blinking. We see the Comling blinking. When Riva is slowly uh, scrubbing to the comlink, she opens it and then she hears that Luke Skywalker is on Tatooine. This scene is just so dumb, I don't get the scent. So if you want up this part, you can uh, show off and go away because this last minute will contain spoilers for episode 6. So in episode 6, Riva will go to Tatooine. Yep. She will go to Tatooine and then try to kill Owen Lars and Luke Skywalker. But she can't, then Obi-Wan talks to her and what happens? Well, Reva goes to Mustafar, tells Vader that she killed Obi-Wan Kenobi and Vader finally kills her. That's the end of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I hope you could enjoy this video. Stay healthy for next week. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably right since I read the... Leaks, leaked script for episode 6, but yes, stay healthy and peace!